to the next dimension. Why well, hello guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. And today I'm going to be doing an inventory update video, just going through all the sections just in case my account gets hacked. And then I can show next in, or here's my can, and then I can hopefully restore it. So like, I like doing these once in a while, and I don't make them boring. I like just talk about my weapons as well, and talk about the stories behind them. First one, I've got a quick throw here, the CQB Ole. Want a bit of a story there. Go back in 2010, that's what's got the LE version, it's the limited edition. So you don't see many of these around. If you do, they have to be really, really, really old players. Got all these guns right here. Baron's Reviser is super OP, just saying. I use that in a couple of, couple of times. It's just easy mode, that weapon, ridiculously good. Renew it if you can, but I'm not because I like using my other weapons better. So we've got all these other guns right here. And M470 TAU. That's getting worked on at the moment. I don't know how many more kills I'm going to get with it, but it will get somewhere one day, definitely. They'll turn into CQB, then the combat. Just, just weighing the time. So we're going to the SMG section right now. And the only one I'd really like to talk about is the Dual Scorps because they're just really OP. And they're still OP. Nexon just has not done anything with these guns. But there you go. P9TR and all that. I bought the P9TR and the Dual Scorps in one sale. I just went on a massive NX fest in that one. The Micro Easy got gifted to me. I forgot the guy had gifted gifted it but massive thank you to him and I use this gun quite a lot as well even though it did get nerfed so sniper rifles got my good old tango I only got 15 days on this one a bit depressed about that I got a couple in my inbox but I'm a bit poor on GP so cough cough gift nah kid don't you don't need to gift me I'm just <laughs> I like my tango and I'll buy some more of it so what else have we got here? We've got the E57, E57 musket, that's a pooey gun. I forged out the M39 EMR thinking it was going to be a better gun, but the EMR was even better. It was a desert version as well. So, and another one of these LE guns, l 6 a one Arctic Wolf. I bought that at the same time as the M416 CQB back in 2010. Those were really fun days. And TPG-1, my newest permanent weapon from the sale. Machine guns, we've got quite a few here. MG34, M Utilitide, Annihilator, MK48. I also like to say that I, I bought the MG34, turned it into the Utilitide Annihilator, and then I bought the MG34 again because I just had that much GP. But that was when GP perms were really bad. But this gun I had for a very long time, and it's still really good. So, MK48 motto, hard hitting, got a nice ACOG sky, it's pretty cool. So, shotguns. Don't even want to talk about these very much. Super 90 OP. Jack Hanna got out of an infinity and I cried for days. Etc. I got nothing there because I don't use rocket launchers. Secondary pistols. What have we got here? We've got a, quite a few ones. Can't even can't even decide. Oh, it's a GP one. I thought it was an X. All right. So USP and I just use the Bushmaster the whole time because that's it's basically automatic pistols really OP this meta of the game. And yes, I'm using League of Legends terms. Get off my back. Um, Melee, the Tracker Knife, oh my baby, it's the new addition to my whole arsenal, and I, I kind of gave in with the new sales and bought it, when I know I shouldn't have, but it's just so good I had to go and buy it. Support wise, we've got these rubbishy ones, besides from M69 HE Frag, which I got nearly 200 days on, because that frag is awesome. Special, nothing there, because I don't like using them, and we'll go on to gear, oh, not all, we'll start a character. Classic Declan, Classic Max, this is like really, really, really OG stuff. When the permanents came out for the mercenaries, not even, it was way before the permanents for the recon vest, I'll show you guys later. Declan was still good, he was a light vest, and people still used him, he was awesome. And I, I have to say, I still use him in Woggle pubs and stuff, because he's that awesome. The Max, fairly decent, not as good, but still Max is pretty good if you want to be a bit of Fembase noob, there you go, you can turn a bit of Fembase on there. And Baron, this is post nerf Baron, it wasn't even a nerf, it was a buff, they just buffed, they nerfed all the speed guys and buffed all the protection guys, so he's got more, he's got more speed, same protection, so he's good for sniper only if you want to troll some people. Um, head, the only one I really like to talk about is my Cyclops Bandana Clone. Everything else there is just throughout my years, the first anniversary back in the olden days, and all these other ones that don't really matter. I got I got them throughout the years, but the only one I really want to get anniversary is the fourth one. So, face, nothing much there. The only one that's really important is the Patriot Mask. That's the full, 
full pro setup. And I did say in my guide that the Mexus Tactical Mask was worse, but it's actually better. It's got more sprint stamina. It's got five more than the Patriot Mask. But I don't know, the Patriot Mask is pretty cool. And that's what I use to get my 25% speed. So, OP. Uniform. Um, these are just the ones that... This is the one Nexon gave me. I bought this. I was in my inbox. Urban Camo is just awesome in general. And now we have the vest. The recon vest. The most OP thing in the game, by far. It's ridiculously good. You run around with that and you go pew pew pew, and it's awesome. <laughs> While ma maintaining protection on power to light vest, but you just got to pay a bit of an X, and there you go, you get more speed. It's it's awesome. And my full setup go. Yeah, this is my full setup. I don't use these backpacks very much. I've got a lot of them, but I don't generally use them. I use a normal veteran one just so I can get no speed. Cosmetics, I got the EOD suit, I got the Teletubby one, and suddenly my character turns black for some reason when I put on the EOD suit, but that's okay. I've got a hard hat as well. That makes me look pretty swag, doesn't it? And yeah, nothing else there. Function, a lot of respawn tokens because people gift it to me. Thank you for whoever did that. A couple of weapon renewal kits. You know, just some general stuff. I don't really use these very much. I've got a lot of the passes as well, a lot of GP ones, a lot of EXP ones. I've still got a lot of heaps of bonus EXP to 100% there, so whatever happens along there will be good. I've got a one-day type reticle, yeah, better keep that, definitely. And my perm mod abilities, nobody really cares about those. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. There's, I think there's one more section. you got like Emporium stuff. And I, was, I was looking over these really funny. I was like, I had a look. Shit, I've got a lot of customization parts, don't I? I got 589, and then, and all these other stuff. Remember the combat tags? Remember those? Remember those? Back in, the, back in the day, guys. But, you know, that's basically my inventory. Hopefully, you guys kind of enjoyed this video. It's a bit trolly, a bit general, but, you know, this is just what happens once in a while. I like to make a video, show off my character, and just in case I get hacked, because, you know... D DDoS and, you know, Skype and all that, I don't know, but if I ever do, then here's my account and Nexon can go and hopefully reinstate it. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.